the shoes that you were wearing were old maiden type of shoes. Can you stand? I just want to see it. Okay. Nope. See, so you see how unstable they Don't are, do right? It. I, I know, no, which I. Uh, come on. You can do it. You're pretending. I'm not pretending. They're so unstable. You should try them. This is how I enter. This is how I enter the studio in this wig. <laughs> And also, do, 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 do. I'm tired from that. Should we take a nap? <laughs> See, I told you, I told you, I told you, and I'm fine. <laughs> well, Don't touch me. Put the shoes back on. <laughs> Pig. <laughs> now get it, get, sit down, and then put them in, and don't move. I don't know who here encouraged you to stand up. That was never something. I'm gonna do the episode from back here. <laughs> what are we talking about? Wedding. Drag shows. Drag shows. Oh, drag shows part two. Okay. Hi, I'm the 11 o'clock seating at the brunch. Trixie Mattel. And I'm the omelet that is much more interesting than the entertainment at that brunch. <laughs> Katya. And welcome to... <gasps> oh! oh. The show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's their studio. And not yours. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. I'm not going to show that. Oh. Ampo, Zampo, Zampo, Zampo. Drag shows. Who would have thought this many <sighs> years into the game? We talked about this on June 10th, 2016. That's us. What are we serving? Oh, I remember this. That's the episode with, um, Must. it's the Golden Gate Bridge. That's the Golden like Gate Bridge. Gia Gunn. <laughs> okay, yeah, Remember yeah, that? Yeah. You have like a really embarrassing story about being at a drag show. It's something that's went terribly wrong. That I did? Are you, are you, do you, are you kidding? It's going to be a, like a Ken Burns miniseries. One time I traveled the world lip syncing to Aqua for four years. Come on, Barbara, let's, let's go, Barbara. Go Barbara. Looking back, that was pretty embarrassing. Um, yeah. Once I went on stage at an international uh, drag show where they put a billboard up of me and didn't know the words to my own song. Well, let me let me take you back to one time. I was performing years ago at the Hamburger Mary's Ontario. I was performing my iconic nine to five lip sync mashup. I proceeded to get a little turned and then mount the table as I stepped up, instead of me rising, the table went in and I just... <laughs> people's food, drinks. And the, the way I got out of there with my tail between my legs, like they will never have me back. I have embarrassed the, the, the family name. With a hamburger patty on your wig. <laughs> Lettuce in your bra. Well, luckily I was covered in burgers and I looked over the DJ and I gave him the old like... <laughs> and he turned on Hot Stuff by Donna Summer and then I was a burger. And they just, they lived. Honey, they lived. They didn't live. Um, if you're backstage, more etiquettes. Wear deodorant. Uh, uh, wash your drag and wear deodorant. Yes, you have to try to do that. You have to try to do that. I can, every drag queen who's ever smelled, I remember who she was and what she smelled like. Oh, her cat piss. Oh, her mothballs. Oh, her marijuana. Everyone, I can tell you who everyone smells like. Other than cigarettes, do I smell really bad? No, you smell like Tom Ford. Oh, thank God. Now, is it, is it, where do you stand on the human legality of, if you're the drag queen in that zip code who does that song first, is it your song? Okay. If you're a featured entertainer, say you're an out-of-town girl, you get to do whatever you want. It's sort of like if you were to commit a federal crime at sea. But if you're on, what? You get maritime law? But Wait. if you do something horrible at sea, isn't it like, it's still a crime. If I shoot someone on a boat somewhere, it doesn't count as like American law. It depends law. on where you are. Really? Yeah. International law. Oh, waters. I thought I could go out on the ocean and around. Oh, so all that genocide. You're gonna have to pay for it at some point. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to leave the studio today and all those go make kids some calls. You drowned in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> I think ethically, spiritually, it's, let's say you were a Madonna person. Okay. And I just want to do Material Girl. I'd be like, girl, I'm gonna serve you next weekend. I'm gonna bust out a little material girl. You're you ain't doing serving. You. you ain't serving. You ain't serving no material and you ain't no girl. You're a man who will never do Madonna. That's my gig. You can do Cindy Lauper though.
Can I borrow a tutu? <laughs> okay, then we're good. <laughs> yeah. What about the What about the girl? I don't think people know about this. The girl, Shanita. She'll need a baby. No. Oh. Oh, she, she needed everything. She needed a pair of shoes. She needed need a shoe. blush. She's the only she one that talks but needs minutes. duct tape. She needed a ride yeah. home. Yeah. Oh, the only one who talks but needs duct tape. That Nobody is the is... tea. Also, drag queens perpetually, progressively late. Like, you're the show director. Show starts at 11, and you're showing up at 11.15. And you're the director of the show. Mary. What? Naked as hell. No way around goes, start the track. How about this Start one? the track. How about this? Halfway through the overture, she comes in with her bags as a man unshaven. It's just like, where am I in the lineup? Third, I'll be ready. I also love this. I love this with drag queens. Here's the CD, it was CDs back then. CDs. Here's the CD binder. When it starts skipping, skip to track 11. Knowing that it's gonna skip, because some people didn't even know how to burn CDs, so they had the real Spice World CD. Script, whatever. And, and not a case, sometimes not. in a napkin in a napkin <laughs> with a post-it attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I ask, what was your first drag show you ever remember going to in real life? It was at, um, oh, Lips. It was Goody Proctor. Goody Proctor, 1692. <laughs> Dry hair, red nose. <laughs> that was, she had, um, it was Lips in New York. Peppermint was my waitress and entertainer. What? Yes. Does she, she know that? Uh, yes, I just told her. Yeah. Does she love it? I don't know. Probably hates me. I told her she was amazing. She was, I'm responsible she was. for this. No, no, no. I never said she was responsible. It was years until I started to do I love drag. that she brought you fries and a shake and you said, my God. <laughs> and was then, the food that good? No, I wanted to be a waitress and not a drag queen. I <laughs> can you imagine. This is just a long con until I can get into the Denny's. Bull time. Um, drag show. My first drag show. Real drag attending, show. Real attending. Real drag show. Attending. The first one you attended. On my 21st birthday, I go to a gay bar, La Cage in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, alone, on a first birthday in full drag. Hi, fellow gays, I'm a gay adult too. Did you have to smuggle a senator out of there? No. Oh, le- <laughs> I was there That's by the myself. That's the birdcage. <laughs> Sorry, I got confused. Like. <laughs> I was there by myself, and I'm standing there, and I'm wearing a black plastic bag, a, tra- a trash bag, fashioned into a dress with a wig, and Bibi's Harbonnet was the performer that night no after she won Drag Race. Way. Yes. And I went up to her and she said, you're so beautiful, keep doing drag, it could take you anywhere. And then I beat that whore on Drag Race and I loved every second of it. Did you tell her that? <laughs> Did you tell her that? I told her that story on Drag Race. Do you remember when you changed my life? And she was like, don't remember that, sister. Like, <laughs> no recollection. No recollection. I'm never sure she knew who I was. Yes. <laughs> I think she the thought I was time. Pandora Box. Yeah. But, but the audience. The audience, okay. There's, I think there's kind of several profiles of people in the audience that are drag shows. Yeah. There's the drag queens' little bevies of gay friends. Yeah. They're, they're hype men, if you will. Yeah. And those are fun. They tip. Mostly. They clap. Yeah. They drink. Yeah. They're fun. They're on grinder. They're looking for a dick. They're looking for a way out. When I worked in Milwaukee, people used to say Trixie and her little group of otters. Otters. So like six to eight oh, bearded young cute. guys who would just go to the shows and they would yeah. drink and you know whatever. Carry on. And then you have, of course, the bachelorettes. <sighs> Let me move my bang. I just the bachelorette. <laughs> just <sighs> Let me get hi- Let me get hydrated before we get into the gig. Somebody hold my hair back. <laughs> I never felt more Sydney Prescott out of darkness until Jimbo on Drag Race wore that veil and said, "It's my special day." But I don't think people understand. They don't get it. How a group of bachelorettes act. Most of the time, we would hear them coming like the Woo Girls. The- woo! And I'd look out my window, and be like, to try to gauge the potential danger. You're, you're, you're texting the DJ. We're doing Britney tonight. Right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I hate to say it, but they were rotten, evil, low down, <laughs> dirty murderers, drug dealers, car thieves. They dropped out of college. They killed little children. They're horrible people. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) They are. First thing they do, grab the wig. Second thing they do, grab the boob. Grab the ass. Everything. Amongst a table of 12, they'd flick one sack of Jawea coin at you. And they'd say, you're welcome. I'm going to devote two and a half minutes of my six minute number to getting one dollar out of your raggedy suburban mouth, you toothless bitch. There would always be this one girl. She was the bride. 
and they didn't, she didn't know where the girls were taking her. And she finds out and she realizes it's a drag show. And she doesn't like she it. She does not like it. Cause she's a Christian woman. She's a Christian woman and she doesn't like all that faggotry. Michelle Bassan. <laughs> There's regulars at drag shows, which we love. We love people who come regularly. Did you guys get the uh, the, the conspicuous um, spenders? Hey, big spender. Mama. We would get the gentlemen who maybe are into the girls. The, the they'd the be there at dog. Friday p.m. at the first seating, yep. alone in the front, with a baseball cap pulled down about this low. And they'd have a, a, a stack of money thicker than their sink. And they would Always anonymous and big tippers. We had one guy, Jim Stone. He was an older gentleman, gay. Um, probably, obviously rich, I don't know how, but he would get on stage in showboat. And he would kind of hijack your performance, but he knew the payday was gonna be like worth it, so you're willing to swap your dignity for the cash. At least I was. But he would do this thing where like, he would do one. Two. Yeah. Yes. I pre at a certain point, it's like, the repetition is not very interesting as an entertainer. So just, why don't I just take the stack and Girl, go. or right when I hit that split, which I didn't do, but right when I hit that pose, let's say, yeah. run up with your dollars and from an inch away, whip the stack into my face. That's what happened Give to me. Give me one big hit. The women and girlfriends of the New England <laughs> Patriots on a Wednesday night, $750 and $1 bills hurled at my face from a point blank range. She said, you will not have dignity, but you will have rent. You will be. <laughs> and you know what? It was worth it. It was you loved worth it. I loved every second the, when of it. The, when the money cleared and the blood trickled down, you were smiling. Girl, when I saw all that was a Monopoly money, said, it was like, this is American cash. I was like, anything else? Your teeth else? were gray until that day. Yeah. And then that money hit you in the face, white. Ding. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm not good at, you know. But you're a dialect coach. Well, oh, freelance. Get on up. I can't get on up. Get on up. Oh, those are crazy. Did I tell you about the time I whacked a girl in the eye with a heel? <gasps> I kicked my foot, the, sh the, yeah, in the eye. In the ball, at the ball? Mm -hmm. Did she get hurt? Mm -hmm. <gasps> she lives with a hospital? Mm -hmm. Did you feel bad? No. Yeah, I did. I felt terrible. Did you see her again? No. She, well, she, I, well, I saw her. She didn't see me. <laughs> hey, Opa! Come on down to the Olive Garden. <laughs>